हेलो नमस्कार सत श्रीकाल आदाब आप सबका स्वागत है वापस एक बार इस नए नए चमचमाते पॉडकास्ट के ऊपर जिसका नाम है टीम एग्जैक्टली ऑपोजिट और आज बहुत ज्यादा दिनों के बाद आई नो दिन भी नहीं एक्चुअली महीनों के बाद आई एम बैक विथ अनदर एपिसोड दिस वन इज गोइंग टू बी अ स्पेशल वन क्योंकि हमारे इस पॉडकास्ट की स्पेसिफिक एपिसोड की गेस्ट रहने वाली है सैरा देवेचा जो मेरी एक नई कॉलेज फ्रेंड है शी इज वेरी क्रिएटिव शी इज वेरी इंटेलेक्चुअल वेरी वेरी गुड कॉन्वर्जेशनलिस्ट आई फील सो लेट्स वेलकम हर हाउ यू फीलिंग सो आई फील रियली लाइवली टुडे लाइक आई फील गुड आई थैंक यू सो मच फॉर आस्किंग मी टू डू दिस एंड हाउ आर यू टुडे मच मच बेटर लाइक फ्रॉम 2 3 डेज आई एम जस्ट स्टार्टिंग टू लाइक गेट बैक इन टू द रूटीन एंड ऑल्सो लाइक मतलब ऐसे गेस्ट थोड़े ढूंढने पड़ रहे हैं आजकल मच मोल ऑफ लाइक इंटरनल थिंग लाइक बैक एंड पे बट लाइक इट्स जस्ट लाइक मैं अकेला सब कर लाइक मैनेजिंग द गेस्ट मैनेजिंग द रिकॉर्डिंग्स कीपिंग सरप्लस एपिसोड होस्टिंग दैम मार्केटिंग वगैरह वगैरह सब कुछ करना पड़ता है सो इट्स लाइक थोड़ा टाइम लगता है एंड आई होप कि ऑडियंस भी ये समझती है क्योंकि ऑडियंस Hey, like they are supportive. They are very, very supportive at times. So, let's see. Yeah, episode. Come back. Yeah. Ha. First question. I like to ask you. Not a question necessarily, but like just to say, uh, general to ask you. How is your studies going? How is your life? Uh, studies at the moment are on a hold. Life, however, is fantastic as usual. Um, been going on doing a little here and there errands, and studies. I might have just kept under the in the bag only. Not opening, not touching, nothing. So yeah, and you? It's much like uh, studies. I'm like I'm trying to balance out things. It's like I'm balancing fitness, studies, games, just like normal time pass. Like just striking some balances. Uh huh. Fitness, I see. Nice, nice. Like yeah, fitness. You do need to do like fitness. Like, mm-hmm. it's like uh, you don't know the power of routine till you follow it. till you follow it very very well said and like having a routine is like one of the things i feel very very important from like it's very very important for me aise matlab routine rakhna na it's ki matlab aise flow mil jata hai yaar life ko matlab bahut yeah bahut like relatable bhi rahega aur like thoda unrelatable bhi rahega kuch kuch logo ke liye but like it's just like ki aise matlab routine baith gaya na to it's much more safe it's much more secure you feel like okay i'm doing this at this time it's like specific yeah yeah but you know what is more important following the routine you make i mean come on we've all made routines before but tell me how many of us have actually followed it i know i have never we try to but we're getting there yeah it's like matlab aise 90% success rate leke jao like keep matlab yeah. uh, like not 90% but like necessarily just keep it 100% kyunki 100% hone to nahi wala hai but you will get close to 100 in that way yeah it's like if you True. keep 90 you will get 80 if you keep 100 then you will get 90 it's like that facts facts just like aim for the best you will get the better you will be better yeah normal life kaise chal rahi hai like what's your routine just to say So I'll get up in the morning, aram se like a queen at like nine o'clock. Like don't judge, and uh, have bath first, obviously. Get breakfast set, and then I'll take my dog on a walk. And after doing that, I think we'll study a bit because you know how that ends. And eat food, play, you know, be on the phone as usual. Study here and there. Um. And yeah, do a little photography, and again eat food in the night, and then you end your day. I mean, pretty boring, but tiring. Yeah, yeah, like it's like just getting invested in something. Invested in something, exactly. Like better than sitting idle and feeling like a total waste bag. You might as well do something like this. Talking about like photography, you mentioned it like while saying the. uh like statement that you earlier said what's your take on uh-huh. photography because like uh, whenever i observe your like snapchat or your like instagram it's very very creative post that you put out or like aisa matlab bahut zyada detailed rehti hai cheez hai so the thing about photography is apart from knowing your angles you need to know that um, sunlight and light your lighting plays a very important uh, part in your photography and apart from that you have to just um, post whatever is in your heart like whatever you whatever you find happiness in 
and you want to capture that moment you capture that moment and you post it you know you do not think about oh my god and this is showing and that is showing that's it you've just got to post it because you've known that you took your best at clicking it right to be as natural as possible like talking about photography do you feel ki photography as i like niche hai thoda that is a good one i would say i do sometimes you know it's an on and off thing sometimes however not always but sometimes for me if i have to say it's much more like aise matlab side hobby jaisa it's like a side hustle that i do uh, like uh, jab bhi college mein aise koi functions rehte hai koi fest rehta hai and the guy who, <laughs> who brings I've seen out, that i've seen that who brings out like photos in all all of the platter it's like it's much more like a niche thing like i need the perfect photo like at least for that situation i need a situation. perfect photo uh-huh. uh like uh, setting up the subjects uh, finding candidates is much like much, uh, uh, much yeah much yeah harder but like whenever i find candidates it's like it turns out very very like nicer than normal photo that normal. i normal uh huh i have seen your photography and i can bear witness to the fact that it is absolutely marvelous because I know how much effort you put into it, and I like how natural and real you keep it. Compliments are nice, but I'm still learning. I feel that like, मतलब uh, not just for like uh, camera से I take photos. Like as a normal phone से भी if I'm taking photos, I I keep in mind about a lot of things. Like मतलब ऐसे जितना simple feel होता है चीज चीजें है like जितनी simple, it's not actually that simple. or it's not like on the contrary it's not actually that much hard also it's like you as a beach may you find something perfect for that situation situation yeah it's see it's all about capturing the moment right like you know how important it is to capture the moment and that really matters in your photography about like uh, photography i like to like add one question कि व्हाट्स योर टेक कि फिल्टर वाले फोटोज आर मच बेटर और लाइक जस्ट द रॉ इमेजेस दैट यू गेट अकॉर्डिंग टू मी द रॉ इमेजेस वंस इज वेयर योर एक्चुअल ब्यूटी लाइज एंड आई प्रेफर दोस बट अकॉर्डिंग टू आई थिंक सोशल मीडिया आई थिंक द फिल्टर वन इज मच मोर वैल्यूड बट इफ आई हैड टू टेक अ साइड आई वुड टेक द रॉ इमेज वंस बिकॉज़ दे आर एब्सोल्युटली ब्यूटीफुल इन इट्स ओन वे i i feel uh, raw images are things that you need a lot of skill to perfect in like times kyunki matlab aise when you when you go for like aise candid photography i feel like macro photography or like aise normal also if you are clicking pictures the raw photo if you have to find like a nice detailed raw colorful uh aise like wholesome ke aisa photo it takes uh-huh. a little time and it takes a lot of skill and patience but like as if filters filters wale photo it's just like a normal raw imperfect photo that you enhance and perfect with some filter on it filter exactly i mean you tell me which one would you prefer a raw, raw picture exactly because the actual happiness that is there in that picture the rawness of that picture is so much better than the one that is there in the filter because i think filterization is really not something we should indulge in it would be better if people had to showcase and put out their real self you know you would love yourself more as well aise normal mein kahe to like photography is a very uh, minute skill that a person can take matlab aise photography ke liye you don't have to invest a lot of time it's just like एकदम you इमीजिएट know, time इन्वेस्ट करके यू कैन गेट द रिजल्ट आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग की लाइक जो लोग फोटोग्राफी के कोर्सेज करते हैं या फिर जो फोटोग्राफी को एज अ करियर परस्यू कर रहे हैं दे आर लाइक डूइंग सम डिग्री इन इट और दे आर अ प्रोफेशनल लाइक फोटोग्राफर दे आर डूइंग समथिंग बैड बट लाइक ऐसे अगर नॉर्मल एकदम ले मैन को अगर फोटोज क्लिक करना सीखना है ही कैन जस्ट गो आउट एंड टेक एज मच एज फोटोज एज पॉसिबल फाइंड you just find it yourself ki okay i i did something uh, correct here i did something wrong here i could have improved i could have just gone a little step back you keep ye step back wala zyada acha lag raha hai rather than like we just pushing it too much wagera wagera like much. you find you find things yourself if you have like that specific eye for photography or for like just photos pictures in general yeah very true 
you know um people do however uh, like think that you know oh my god the camera matters and um, you know they will upgrade their phones they will do what not but the actual beauty just lies in you know capturing moments like you've just got to better yourself judge yourself a little you know in imper- imperfection is there in everyone it's totally fine and there is beauty as well in imperfection what's the best camera system out there according to you as in like on a phone on a mobile phone perspective or like on a professional camera perspective also i mean um, it depends but i think if you had to take a professional camera i mean obviously the outcome would be a little better because of the camera that the person is using on but it is not like the unprofessional camera is not uh, capturing pretty ones both are good at its own level like often i have a debate with like people on a topic of like camera matlab kaun sa acha hai kaun sa bura hai it's just like you need to know your system your camera system your photography ka exactly. tool with like 100% like uh as well as inside out tumhe pata rehna chahiye ki like if i go i use this feature i uh, use that feature or i use this lighting condition mera shutter speed itna hai so i need to click photos at this time वगैरह वगैरह लाइक मतलब इफ यू नो इट बाय योरसेल्फ यू हैव इट समवॉट लाइक इन योर माइंड यू कैन टेक मच नाइस ऑफ फोटोज मतलब पहले पहले आई हैड लाइक अ आईफोन 4s इफ यू न्यू आई हैड लाइक अ स्मॉल स्मॉल आईफोन एंड लाइक इट्स कैमरा सिस्टम इज नॉट दैट बेटर कंपेयर्ड टू मॉडर्न फोन्स लाइक इट्स अ 2011 या 10 का फोन था वो सो लाइक एंड आल्सो इट वाजंट दैट लाइक much resolution camera it was like a 1 720p 12 megapixel camera but like uh-huh. jo photos usme se click karta tha i knew the camera inside out i knew ki uska hdr mein kaisa aayega normal mein kaisa aayega i didn't use uh, like filters at all till recently like recently like a week back i think i installed snapchat and i was like uh-huh. oh you can use filters also but like i still prefer the raw images kyunki लाइक कैमरा सिस्टम मेरे को मालूम है सो आई आई डोंट थिंक आई नीड असिस्टेंस ऑफ अ लाइक फिल्टर बट इट्स ओके इफ यू आर यूजिंग फिल्टर आल्सो आई टू फॉर सम पिक्चर स्पेसिफिकली आई यूज अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ फिल्टरिंग अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ एडिटिंग बट बट लाइक मोस्ट ऑफ द इमेज आई हैव टू गेट इट आउट ऑफ द कैमरा ओनली हां सी इट इज नॉट रॉन्ग टू यूज फिल्टर्स और इट इज नॉट अ सिन लाइक यू कैन यूज फिल्टर्स यू नो व्हाटएवर यू आर कंफर्टेबल विद but if you go to see it would honestly be better and healthier for you to not rely so much on filters and realize of how pretty you are in actual life yeah how how much pretty you are in actual life and how much pretty you can capture yourself from whatever that you have exactly like matlab uh, i have like a series ki uh, i just use old phones i don't get a uh, modern phone in like i i don't think i will get modern uh, like latest as a phone latest in, ones aha uh-huh. i i yeah, use yeah. like ancient phones in that phones. context like mobile phones smartphones i mean like not uh-huh. that like dial phones <laughs> <laughs> no no get no. it out of the context <laughs> but it's just that like smartphone mein i use like 10 years old uh, 12 year old like phones and it's oh. like ki uh, it's much more better i feel kyunki technology se evolve hoti rehti hai but like uh, if i know how to use everything in like a technical manner it's much more like better easier yeah yeah and Very like true. and like uh, recently like as of now i am using like a samsung phone but like <laughs> uh its camera system it's very very fantastic if you like get into the details and like i am getting very very comfortable with like the colors like the, the tones were getting uh-huh. uh-huh. that's why that's why like it's it's much more easier for me कि लाइक इफ इवन इफ आई गेट लाइक अ न्यू मॉडर्न फोन लाइक मेरे फ्रेंड्स के पास है अभी कॉलेज में ही बहुत लोग के पास लाइक अच्छे अच्छे न्यू न्यू मॉडर्न फोन है वन प्लस है एप्पल है बट लाइक इट्स मच मोर इजी फॉर मी टू गेट फोटोज ऑन माय सैमसंग ओल्ड एकदम पुराना फोन लाइक गेट मच मोर बेटर फोटोज बिकॉज यू हैव गॉट ए कनेक्शन विद योर फोन राइट लाइक यू हैव अ हैंग ऑफ इट यू नो व्हाट एंगल योर फोन बेस्ट कैप्चर्स what feature your phone is best known for and all of that so like now you are very well uh, known to it 
that also plays a very important role in getting good uh, pictures as you said earlier you know you have to know your device in and out in order to capture good pictures what's your content journey been like matlab you put out some fantastic like you put out some very very nice content whenever like i get the opportunity i'm like oh you put some technically like nice nice content you put like yeah. <laughs> some nice detail as matlab it's like ऐसे डिस्क्राइब नहीं कर सकते बट इट्स लाइक वेरी नर्डी व्हेन यू गेट इनटू द फाइनर डिटेल्स ऑफ इट हां हाउ हैज इट बीन लाइक फॉर यू टू गेट टू दिस पॉइंट सो इनिशियली आई स्टार्टेड आउट टेकिंग पिक्चर्स बट ऑब्वियसली दे वर इंपरफेक्ट एंड आई हैड टू गेट अ हैंग एंड यू नो लाइक गेट यूज्ड टू एंड नोटिस व्हाट एंगल्स बेस्ट सूट मी um यू नो व्हाट लाइटिंग बेस्ट सूट्स मी and i try like i said i try to be as natural and as uh, keep it as real as possible like if you uh, notice my feed it will not have a lot of uh, filtered pictures you will have a lot of pictures just in sunlight and i think you know um, sunlight is a very pretty thing and you know we need to make a very right um, use of it especially when it comes to photography and sunlight goes hand in hand like you know the best pictures are clicked in broad daylight just for context can you like tell the uh, audience ki what camera system that you use uh currently i use uh, my phone which is an apple um, 11 and uh, i think before this i used to use a vivo y50 which was not bad it was a very nice uh, camera setting unless until uh, i threw it in the bathroom <laughs> and uh, yeah and so i switched to apple but i mean even the normal uh, mindset that we have ki apple is better i mean okay apple is good in its place but vivo itself also is a really nice phone and i mean as long as you know your angles and what best you know captures your picture you are all set and good to go it really does not matter what phone you are using what model as long as you appreciate the real you know moments that are captured through the phone you are all good to go coming from like photography to a little bit of uh, another unique side that you possess like uh, about, i want to talk about like music you have a very very nice music taste in college uh-huh. also, uh, like the first time we met you were singing some song and i was like oh, wow <laughs> who is this person <laughs> just like randomly singing songs singing songs with uh, nancy joy So hello, uh-huh. man. if you are listening to this conversation, <laughs> hello. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, so, uh, like, what's your music choice like? How's your music taste, as they say? So I think um, normally people have a particular genre that they prefer, but um, I think I go with all rounder. But obviously, specifically English. No offense to Hindi. I absolutely love Hindi, but I think my taste is more of English. You know, we go with the normal pop, pop only. But I also do have a soft corner for the old classical ones. You know, uh, by Elvis and all. But on a normal base, I listen to um Billie Eilish. Obviously, we have Justin. Um, we'll have a uh, little pop as well, like Cardi B. We'll have Offset. We'll have Nicki, Ariana, all of them. What do you like usually listen to in music? any specific genre or like any specific topic that you prefer uh-huh. listening to i think uh, specifically it'd be all, it all would be heartbreak like don't judge like i might have not gone through a heartbreak but i just you know the pain that the singer is singing through that we do not realize it takes great art to notice it and i just sway along with it so i think i would say on a regular basis i listen to heartbreak and um, a little romantic here and there what's the best english song like just a suggestion to the audience and to me also like what's the song that i should listen to you feel kill bill have you heard kill bill no i don't have any context like uh, i am i am like a very very <laughs> a old age type <laughs> of guy when it comes to music like i listen uh-huh. to a variety of music like uh, i listen from like old hindi songs hindi to like songs. Yeah, uh, yeah. eminem like it's very very different different taste of music but like i i just listen to everything that's possible but i have some niche songs that i usually listen to 
I think my favorite song that I would even uh, you know tell you to hear to would be Flowers by Miley Cyrus. I don't know if you heard it. You've heard it? No, I haven't. I'll I'll definitely listen it now. Yeah, like after should, this uh, recording. <laughs> you should really try listening to it. Like I just love what she's done over there. Like it's a total masterpiece. What's your favorite Hindi song? Like you don't usually listen to Hindi song, but like whenever you listen, what's your favorite? So whenever I listen to Hindi songs, I think my favorite is Arjit Singh. Because you are you, you know a particular song would be because you are you, and uh, yeah, any other song that is related to Arjit Singh. Like I'm not so much of a Hindi listener, but if my only go-to Hindi song would be by Arjit Singh. What's the thing about music that you feel a lot of people don't know, or like a lot of people don't talk about uh, as much as they should? Um, I think you know the the backstory of it. Like you know, when an artist uh, puts out a song, obviously he will not put out um his direct words. You know, like if I'm trying to make a song on um on say someone I know, I will obviously n- not put direct hints. but certain lines and i think that every artist has its own particular way of doing so but the thing with the audience is you know sometimes you just catch on to meanings even though in actual nothing really exist so like it could just be a normal reference but like for um, beef sake or for some other sake you know those uh, videos that they would post about uh, you know how uh, the particular artist is throwing shade at another artist I think um, that is something people don't realize that they are doing, and that they shouldn't do, because at the end of the day, it is just um, the artist's creativity that one is just judging upon really badly. Okay, so I hope you don't mind if I ask you a question, ah? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Ask. Okay, so how is your journey, like you know, a uh, recording podcast and all of this? How was your journey? Was it hard? was it um, very uh, difficult for you or was it all just you know in your hands it's like a organic as a matlab normal process for me like uh, whenever i record a podcast it's like ekdam aise casual i just get into the comfort zone <laughs> wala mood and i'm like okay <laughs> there's a friend i will just talk them as a normal me i i try to be as much as i am like i i just feel myself and i just be myself on the podcast like while recording after uh-huh. recording i get little nerdy and geeky like ekdam aisa full like that hacker me wala guy i <laughs> i get like that uh, it's like as well uh, the process is just a, just a ongoing thing it's like it will not end and i think that it should not end also it's like uh, i get a lot of investment type feeling whenever i am doing a podcast like it's like a small child like feeling like when you pamper a child it's like that uh-huh. <laughs> i see well i hope you carry on with your journey very well and i really yeah. like what you do i mean you know, it takes a lot of courage and like wow like you inspire the hell out of me Yeah, it's like normally, yeah, boy. Like, it's not, it's not. Uh, it's not like I don't like your compliments. It's just like no, but too, you too, deserve too, it, bro. Like too <laughs> new, and uh, just as a like, I'm too, I'm too busy to even uh, focus on like why someone complimented me. It's just like I hear, I get motivated. I'm like, okay, I'll get back to my work. It's just like that. <laughs> well, that's that's a nice way of taking a compliment. You see. What like, uh, I mean, uh, it will be little drifting from like what we were talking about earlier. But like, I like to ask you, I mean, as a normal when we were talking of of the recording, uh, as a general, make you what are our interests, etc. You specified that like you like a lot of horror content, a lot of like paranormal things, uh, interest you. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Like movies, death, ghosts, spirits. It's like one of the topics that I feel at home when I'm talking about. What's your take uh-huh. on like, horror, ghosts, and spirits, and like whatever else that encompasses in this topic? So the thing with me is, I absolutely love such things. Okay, like the part of horror, I absolutely uh, love it because it just um, like I get a nice feeling while watching it. Like you know, 
I mean, I get it that others like you know would get freaked out and this and that, but it just kind of interests me when I watch such things. And I really don't think that you know there's something to be scared of. Like yes, the jump scares is one part, but apart from that, um, you know, even the horror story, uh, keeping the horror apart from the, you know, the story, the story that they portray, I think that is something people need to focus on because it is a very nice. story that is happening right there but the jump scares and the and the demonic creatures that they show just take your mind off of it but the back story that it is actually trying to portray that has a lot of meaning and a lot of you know things that you can learn from and like good for knowledge sake and like coming to the topic of um, you know these spirits and demons and all of that uh, i do tend to have a lot of um, you know interest in it apart from the fact that i might have had one to uh, encounters but uh, yeah i do absolutely love it like when i say horror or i say like terror ghosts what comes to your mind like what's the thing you picture um tragedy honestly and just an untold story or like a soul reaching out for help like the minute you say horror the first thing to hit my mind is a soul that is reaching out for help mhm that's a that's that's actually like a very interesting thing that you can think about in horror because like a uh, majority of people uh, when i'm talking about horror with them they are a little skeptical in like delivering something serious or they hold back a lot aha uh-huh. so the thing is when you come to horror it is actually true that some things are best not spoken about because of the context and everything but uh, it is also necessary to give certain respect to it because you know it it, it is a particular um, taste that people need to find in horror so it's not just the the people walking on four limbs and you know the headless men and that's not all horror you know horror could actually and it is a cry of a soul to human beings either asking for justice for a uh, mercy or to just put their story out there have you watched uh, the movie the exorcist uh yes couple of times yeah that's uh, like that's like the epitome of uh, horror in my opinion like matlab there are horror movies that came after it like the conjuring annabelle uh, like uh-huh. in not not just like horror but like little little like skeptical controversial topic was kantara like kantara wasn't uh, specifically horror it was just like they took a lot of elements like they had like a cultural element they had like a like, terrorizing mystical element and like but still i feel ki the exorcist was like the movie i i recommend as recommend. like a, as very like true a, very true because I think it was as real as possible, and uh, you know it wasn't just theoretical or um, you know like a uh, the typical st- stereotype of it, but it was actually um, a very it was portrayed very well. You know, na like the story of Exorcist, it was actually like a real story. Yeah, it was based on a true story. I'm well aware of it. Um, yeah that was like matlab uh, matlab the exorcist like little sorry to cut you off but like uh, little uh, when i like i watched exorcist just as like a normal recommendation from a relative of mine he told me like mm-hmm. go and randomly just go and watch this movie it's a horror movie i, I knew that much only Ki, like it's a horror movie i saw the thumbnail wagera so i was like okay theek hai not that much like freaking out but when i saw the movie and after i watched the movie i just went on and like saw a lot of uh, reviews and uh, just like jo uh, matlab making tha movie ka that i went out and watched it it was uh-huh. actually much more scarier after like getting the context of things the context. after wa- after like watching the movie and then getting the context like before if i had got the context and then watched the movie i would have like had on like a glasses kind of thing like i would have had a spectacle through which i watched the movie but like getting the context after watching the movie that was much more scarier kyunki like uh, the fact that ki the movie is based on a real incident second fact mm. like uh, the set of the movie actually like burnt 
<laughs> due yeah. to some demonic sp- uh, spirit and also uh-huh. the fact that it's like 50 years old at this point i mean i had expected only such things to uh, like when you make a horror movie all you're talking about is dark um, you know energies and you know what you talk about really matters a lot when you talk about it aloud because that is the kind of environment you are creating for yourself and i cannot imagine the cast and you know the the production who are actually working through it and saying those uh, you know the particular uh, prayers and you know all of that that they did i mean it must have been a really true um, experience for them yeah like actually matlab uh, i agree a lot with that statement that you made it's like ki uh, in some some specific points in the movie you can really feel ki it's not just acting aha uh-huh, yeah it's it's something little bit like matlab uh, it will be little aise kya bolte hai uh, faith based you can say like the audience yeah. will think like i'm getting a little biased but like for just understanding the whole thing you should just go and watch out the movie when you yeah. will experience it yourself you will understand whatever that i'm speaking about speaking about very true and like you know when we watch such movies it is best to watch it with an open mind so you get a clearer view about everything that is happening have you ever um, perhaps encountered anything of this sort or you know since since i am such a horror movie freak is there anything any movie that you would like to suggest to me like first of all to the exorcist like the you watched it but like if you hadn't watched i would have like just told you go and watch watch it out the yeah exorcist second is like a marathi movie uh, which i don't know if the audience knows or not it's called zapat lela uh, it has that like tatya vinsu as a character that was one horror movie that just haunted me in my childhood oh wow uh just go and watch zapat lela it's a marathi movie maybe it's available on z5 i feel you can just go and watch it uh, maybe i'll give out a link in the description you can just go and check it out then like uh, as a horror movie no but like just as like a normal uh, suspense type of movie uh, recommendation it will be tumbad if you haven't watched it just go tumbad. and watch out tumbad sure sure will do will do uh tumbad then zapat lela then you can go and watch out like it's not a horror movie but it's like a dark comedy movie it's called jaane bhi do yaro it's a old movie uh you can just go and definitely watch out that movie mhm okay i'll take a note of it thank you what's your like take on uh, m- mysteries like uh, matlab i talked about tumbad a little bit like just a recommendation I, that i gave out uh, what's your like thing about mystery how you conceive or how you just understand mystery as a topic and like uh, also another question like i uh-huh. totally. just like put out two questions it's like first how you understand mystery and second is like what's the best uh, way to consume content uh, of like horror genre or mystery genre is it like books or is it just going out and watching a movie so i'd like to answer the second question first so even though i mean you know people would have different opinions like some would say books are better and some would say watching a movie is better i think going ahead and reading the books is much uh, a better form of um, you know uh, getting to know a horror story because it is more purer it is not diluted like the movie like even the spells and you know it is safer to not take the spells and say the spells because you never know if it is true or no so and that is something that movies do while making a horror movie even though they say that it is based on a real story yeah they adapt it highly, the story. exactly it is highly diluted you know like certain parts would like be either replaced or cut out or something or the other but however if you do read it it is much better uh when we say mystery obviously it is something that you know it is mysterious you know we do not know about it but i think um mysteries are actually um, much better honestly you know like uh, a time investment thing i would say is you know you go ahead or online and you read like these um, stories that you know you know they've not found the killer yet or they might have not um, you know got into the reason to the murder or who has murdered why have they've murdered when when they might have found out probably but like if you had to then i think this is something you should try like 
you know just as a stress buster or something like go ahead watch a small um, documentary on a murder that hasn't been solved or like you know something that has happened mysterious and try to like solve it on your own or like get to the bottom of it but like obviously don't bang your head too much over it but yeah it is something one should try for stress buster will there be like uh, any recommendations that you like to give out for uh, mystery or horror genre thing like any movie any book or any anything of that sort uh okay so uh for the horror movie I mean, apart from watching all the Conjuring ones, like Annabelle Comes Home, Annabelle Returns, a uh, Conjuring Two, and The Devil Made Me Do It. I mean, apart from all of that, that's just the normal like um horror movie like thing that everybody refers to. But apart from that, Hereditary on Netflix is a true masterpiece that will blow you off your chair. Like that is one thing that is it's hella crazy. it's so freaking scary like oh my god it's good um content and i think if you are not somebody who can handle it i would not recommend hereditary but like if you can then i'd say hereditary is the number one best movie for you to watch book wise i think um i do not have a specific book honestly because i read articles or uh, you know via the net like just articles in small um gist of events that have happened and uh you know events that took place and murders that took place so yeah coming from like mystery to conspiracy as a topic what will you like to add to conspiracy as a topic and as well as conspiracy ke bare mein aapka kehna kya hai uh huh i think conspiracies are a really good uh, mind blowing thing like you know the word itself like apart from the the meaning of the word itself like there are some crazy ass conspiracies out there that i mean if were to be true it would be kick ass honestly and like mysteries is just something that is uh, you know something we have to find out like we need to get the bottom of because we have no idea of it obviously because well it's a mystery do you think ki conspiracy is uh, like tangible to facts that are not presented ki like matlab uh, con- conspiracy theories or conspiracy theorist that form they are based on the opinion ki zyada facts hai hi nahi so you can just uh, develop some facts and get just like get famous on the basis of that i mean see it all depends like the facts that they uh, make their conspiracies on play a very important role and like in order to like know about a conspiracy is to is to like uh, get into the facts of it and obviously like if the facts aren't real like it's not worth um, you know going more ahead into it because then you know that the conspiracy is just not so worth it but if you know you get to know that the facts are however real i think the conspiracy is very much worth it because then you know that there is a possibility of something or the other or some sort of another thing to happen just as the conspiracy like uh, conspiracy like uh, as a topic it fascinated me a lot when i was like in fourth till like my ninth or 10th standard i was very very fascinated by the just topic of conspiracy and like the uh, different different topics from around the world that were a part of different conspiracies like bermuda triangle is one of the topics that i i think were like the earliest topics that i searched about i talked about i found people on the basis of that topic <laughs> and just the fact ki uh, there are no points or like no tangible evidence that you can find in these topics exactly because like i said the fact that it is based on matters a lot because if it is not really factual then the conspiracy is no work of art it is just um, bland I think that you know the facts that these conspiracies are based on plays a very important role in it. You know, like uh, the uh, UFOs conspiracy and like Area Fifty One just uh, like resides in USA. Uh huh. Um, I mean, my opinion on this, I think uh, there is a lot of things, honestly, that you know we are not told about. Obviously, like not everything is made black and white to public. 
and in that is something whether people like it or not they have to accept that we do not know everything however there are people just like us who do know everything and are keeping us in shadow because honestly i think some things are just best if we do not know about i'm like even the ufo thingy uh, i'm pretty sure that you know it could be real it could not be real but i think there might be a possibility of such things however the area 51 i mean my views on it i think it is just um it, it i'm not saying it does not exist but it definitely exists and like whatever happens in that grounds in the grounds of it i think it's best not known to public because of the you know the reaction and it would just drive us crazy to know that the possibilities of events that could take place that aren't taking place and i think the reason we are at peace you know like living at least uh, like tension free of calamities constantly is because we are kept in the shadows and um, i think even though they try to keep such things uh, in total secrecy you know there are always those drones that are flying around and uh, you know crazy people you know who just try to get to the bottom of it but ultimately they are also shut down you see because that is said it's best if we do not no and we are kept unaware of particular topics uh, just adding to whatever you said it's just like one sentence ki we are shown what they want us to see like exactly they don't tell you the whole part but uh, whatever they tell it's enough according to them and yeah. uh, according to the situation of like the whole world exactly and about like area 51 as a topic uh, there in like recent things i don't know if you know it but like majority of people don't know it but actually like the area 51 files and like the aliens and what whatever, whatever not that was spread uh, like there were ufo sightings and all it's all like been uh, unclassified now like all the classified documents and all the internal documents all were like released recently in like period of like one or two years it was actually uh, like the U- us government and like uh, the defense forces of usa that just came forward and they were like sh- now sh- just like shut your mouth we are going to tell you everything that you want <laughs> exactly even whatever they told us and whatever paperwork they showed and everything again is just what they wanted us to see so that you know we get some peace and stop um, you know interfering in their businesses and let them do whatever the hell they are doing i think for the sake of that because like public the public wanted answers yeah and, and they crazy. and they gave answers like uh, it's actually thoda astonishing but uh, like the whole ufo alien alien theory it was all like just made up as a cover story for like the defense activities that was going on going on USA exactly at, at that time like uh, jo documents hai na in that they uh, specifically just state ki uh, in 1950s to some like 80s something tak uh, they like let the topic of ufo and everything like the aliens and all just to float around so that they can do their defense research and all and it was exactly. actually as made and published as a cover up story for uh, the blackbird and all the different uh, fighter planes that they made and uh, it was like later confirmed by footage like video footages and uh, internal documents which they classified recently ki it was actually like a cover cover up story cover and they up. didn't and they didn't want the russians to know like russians by russians i don't need like uh, specifically russians but like the world to know ki they were developing these technologies and like uh, they just kya bolte hai used hysteria as like <laughs> uh-huh. a tool and they just yeah. made a popot out of all of us everyone but honestly i think it was a very smart move like very very smart honestly because you know like uh, when they released those footages and everything the only thing on everyone's mind was oh shit there are ufos and this and that and you know like they obviously drifted us away uh, with the topic of what they were doing and i think it really i mean obviously it worked out very well and you know but however i do think that most of these conspiracies that are out there at least one or two of them will honestly some day turn out at least half true yeah like there are some facts that are presented that may be true or maybe leading to truth the real fact i'm not yeah. talking ki uh, ekdam hi bullshit hai or like ekdam yeah. hi correct hai it's like somewhere in 
uh, purgatory that it like just lives in. Yeah, it just hangs in the middle. Yeah, it's in the middle and like जब तक फैक्ट हमें रियल सोर्सेज से एंड लाइक कमेंडेबल सोर्सेज से पता नहीं चलते वी कैन नॉट पुट आउट स्टेटमेंट एंड लाइक पुट आउट फैक्ट के लाइक नो भाई ये तो ऐसा ही है लाइक लाइक मतलब पीपल जस्ट यूज हिस्टेरिया एंड लाइक द्यूमन बिलीफ एज लाइक दे टूल इन लाइक पब्लिशिंग और लाइक जस्ट ब्रॉडकास्टिंग दीज थियरीज इट्स लाइक मतलब मेरे को लगता है ऐसा है and just on the fact that mere ko lagta hai and like the little details that you have here and there you can like put out facts and details ke like na ye to aisa hi hai zindagi mein i know like very true what you've said so like coming from as a ekdam ufo conspiracy murder mystery ka <laughs> kya nahi to little bit lighter topics to like thoda aisa matlab general topics i like to ask you ki uh like uh, before we were talking like ye bahut thoda weird rahega audience ke liye ki bhai ye before ka hi baat karta hai but it's like thoda connect mm. karna padta hai na yaar like and yeah, also yeah, giving I mean... giving the audience a little context like you were talking about ki uh, you love cooking you love uh, making and preparing uh, delicacies and food so what's your thing about that what's your charm about that so uh, in my family we've all come down from a line of chefs mostly and my dad would like uh, he was a sous chef like a very high rank chef and i think um, most of the times in the house he only might have been the one cooking along with mom and i really admired it and i caught most of my recipes on from there and like generally like i just love how the outcome of you know when i try to cook the outcome of it i just absolutely love it and i think that's something that um, you know uh, it uh, encourages me to cook more often and you know like to to explore my palate and you know like not just the indian kind but like also the italian way you know like american ones and all of that kind of dishes and what not and i think people really need to invest more in cooking because like no i mean i'm not telling you to take it as a uh, profession but even as a hobby it's just a good way to um, find yourself it's like the process of cooking it's very very soothing for most of the people including me also ki like i'm not like ekdam a professional when it comes to preparing things but like whenever i do little bit whatever i do it's like kaise matlab thoda chill okay in the moment reh ke you can make something lovely <laughs> and <laughs> uh, my experience it's been like मतलब जब मैं अभी लाइक घर पे अकेला रहता हूँ वेन आई एम अलोन एंड लाइक एकदम ऐसा शांति से टाइम लेके आई प्रिपेयर समथिंग इट्स लाइक टर्निंग आउट मच बेटर देन एकदम ऐसा घाई में आई गो एंड प्रिपेयर आउट समथिंग इवन लाइक व्हेन यू कुक लाइक यू नीड टू नो दैट नॉट एवरी टाइम योर डिश इज गोना टर्न आउट टू परफेक्शन और द वे यू वॉन्टेड टू बट यू हैव टू ट्रस्ट द प्रोसेस एंड यू हैव टू एन्जॉय एवरी मोमेंट ऑफ इट and like it honestly it depends on the way you take it like some of them might take cooking as a very tedious job and like oh my god raw chicken and this and that but you know i mean come on it's all part of a process what are the things that you usually like cook and what are your favorites to prepare so initially i started off with just maggi and everything as usual like every other normal child but then i went on to uh, doing you know a little uh, baking but like not baking sweetish stuff like not desserts or something but i would end up baking pasta you know like a uh, little lasagna here and there then baking pies like uh, mince pies or you know go on with like your cheese pies and what not and uh, i think my favorite thing to cook honestly would be uh, my supreme garlic bread with cheese uh, with uh, mince and cheese so it is something my family relishes and i also do find a lot of peace in uh, you know making it like the the way and mind you like not to boast but i do however make my garlic bread from scratch that is you know with the dough like the dough is made by me and yeah i just find a particular peace in it like you find yourself in it and like that's what um, i think people need to do like apart from pleasing everyone else you like just need to like get into your like yourself and find yourself somewhere what's your like 
take on a method that a person who is starting off like early in cooking who is like just as a matter i i need to step in to uh, prepare something what is the steps that you will suggest them or you will just tell them to follow so i mean i am a hygiene freak i i am a die hard hygiene person like i love being hygienic so i think i would start off with hygiene selling one to um, you know like make sure your place is clean the place where you're cooking the uh, the uh, cutlery you're using has to be clean obviously you know you clean your hands your veg- vegetables need to be um, rinsed washed properly now one thing that people do is when they try to um, you know do things simultaneously is you know you might put something on the gas and you'll start cutting but i think i'd prefer is if you would pre-cut everything and uh, you know like uh, keep your ingredients ready so once you are done with the cutting all you have to do is mix 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 and like throw in your spices and as per the timings like um, put your dish off or like one of your dishes ready what's the jam on like uh, liquid liquid drinks not liquid drinks what am i talking <laughs> about but like uh, uh, just like drinks in general what do you drink usually usually i mean uh, right now i am not really at legal age of drinking drinking so you yeah know, not not like uh, uh, alcohol know. wise not like yeah. cocktail wise i'm talking like in mocktails like coffee cold like uh-huh. in coffee also there are types of coffee that you can uh, consume uh-huh. like yeah, uh, cold coffee hai, normal like jo ghar pe banti hai filter coffee yeah, yeah. Uh, then like as well as or drinks ke example do to like lemonades like uh-huh. some mojitos or something i think my go to drink um honestly in the i think oh my god very nice question man what do i like to drink i think i would go with a minute maid you know i just like how uh, the orangey in it i just like how it is it's not really artificial the f- flavoring for it is not really artificial and that's something i admire so i think my go to drink would be um, minute maid but if i were to be at home i think i would make myself a green tea i'm not much of a coffee head but i do however love uh, chocolate shakes so i think i would uh, fetch myself a chocolate milkshake what's your take ki uh, like the ordered food it's much better or like homemade food kyunki like matlab uh, aise normal if i ask to like uh, i question any person ki uh, what's their take ki ghar ka khana zyada acha hai fir like bahar se you order something from like uh, professional a uh, restaurant or like just, just some chef or something who is like baking ya fir like aise general mein ghar ka khana acha hai bahar ka ekdam aise short mein puche to aha so i mean you know what it's a little biased my answer would be a little biased because you know honestly if you are someone who eats home food on a daily basis then i think you are someone who would prefer outside food you know you would think that there is delicacy in outside food but me being a person you know who honestly not to brag but orders like on a daily basis and like let me tell you from good restaurants i am more of a home food person but um i do however order from outside also but i think home food is much better because there's a whole different taste and touch of love in it that a chef or a michelin chef would not be able to give like taste wise yes hats off to him but the home feeling that provides that love I think that you would get just and only from you know घर का खाना. Are you like a mm-hmm. uh, like calorie conscious person? Uh, I am not. Honestly, I am not a calorie conscious person. For me, it is always about the taste, okay, and about trying new things. So, and uh, let's be honest, like a uh, tasty uh, food do not always have to be junk, you know. or do not always have to be the ones with the most uh, uh, fatty substances inside but um, i don't think i am health conscious no i am not or calorie conscious not at all what are the things that you are conscious about then like matlab ye acha ek tangent to talk about what are the things that you are usually conscious about uh, i am however conscious on my oil take because you know like we do tend like to uh, like a lot of uh, oil uh, deep fried items i'm a little conscious about my uh, oil intake like 
if there was an option like if i know i've already consumed enough oil or um, deep fried stuff i think and if there were an option then i would have to switch to something steamy because just for the sake of you know um, like keeping a good health like even though you are consuming like really oily stuff okay wait let me ask you a question ha huh? mm-hmm. uh, have you ever tried to cook something on your own yeah apart from maggi yeah like yeah not the boiling thing like actually putting in masalas and you know uh spices and uh, you know putting a little touch of you know yeah is yeah that something you have tried oh, well what was it i cook like anything matlab uh, aisa like thoda braggy lagega but i can cook like most of the things that you usually eat at home and like mm-hmm. bahar wala bhi stuff i cook at home only like okay uh sh- nice. shawarma i make at home i make like normal jo sabzi roti rehti hai i i uh, like in lockdown i reached till the step of like making dough but i didn't uh, learn the craft of uh, ro- roti banana like just like belan se mm-hmm. i mm-hmm. i know like two ends of the spectrum i know how to make a dough and i know how to like chapati ko kaise sekhte hai no but i don't uh-huh. know how to roll chapati I think I am on the same ride with you because honestly, like if you tell me to roll a chapati out, I am rolling some kind of a some place on the map. Like you'll find Africa, Australia, New Zealand. I have no idea which part, but yeah, you're finding one of those parts in those rotis that I'm making. Because I mean, come on, who can honestly, apart from mums and grandmums, who can honestly roll out a perfectly round? Uh, uh you know chapati i mean not me for sure <laughs> but i mean you know it's worth a try yeah it's and it's I, a skill worth learning like yeah, you never know how how True. like cooking cooking in, in general and also like whatever things that are happening in your life just learn and be a little inquisitive about it just learn it for the sake that you have a skill that you can use any time any time you know it's, it never hurts to learn and like nothing you learn can go like in waste that yeah, is yeah yeah you, you never to... know ki kab wo skill tumhe like kaam aa jaye yeah you know like there's absolutely nothing that you will learn and like it would be waste of um, you know your time you're a fashionable person like uh, matlab talking from a physical perspective you're a very fashionable person you are like nowadays uh, like what people say ki you you have to be a little aesthetic towards things you are a, like you have a niche of being an aesthetic person so what's your take it like how you groom yourself how you keep up with trends how you uh, manage your wardrobe how do you do it like just as i matlab mean, uh, process bata de tu apna okay so i think um, you know people think um, no not about what people think according to me i think i just mix a lot of um, kind of styles like i will throw on some cargos or like some loose um, pants but like not very loose like a little loose pants and put on some uh, nikes on them or like some kind of a nice shoe on them and like just throw on a loose shirt on it and you know you just put on a chain and you put on a earring however a one sided earring like that that's kind of my uh, go to thing like a one sided ear like just one ear has to be occupied with the earring and i think put a couple of rings on and you're good to go i mean you know it's pretty modern and it is uh, pretty acceptable by society as well it is what is currently going on but if you notice uh, there is a lot of uh, fashion that is coming out like from what used to happen in the 60s and the 70s you know like the uh, the low waisted jeans the uh, yeah, yeah, bell like bottoms people are going retro now yeah people are going retro Like think, culturally, uh, like culturally, I feel uh, ki aise matlab shift ho raha hai. Bahut zada, like music also, uh, then like societically also we are just going a little back to the goods. I'm not talking ki uh, aise like we are just going crazy and just like taking everything from the past, but we are just like taking elements of uh, positive elements from like the past. Exactly, and I think that is a very good thing to do. because like we are uh, the things that we are taking up on are, uh, like like you said it's not like the the way of you know being backward but however the particular things that we pick up it is good honestly to be honest 
about like modern trends i like to talk about uh, like little controversial it will become but i like to talk ki uh, what's your take on like kpop and about like the korean influences that are like floating around uh, as a general duniya mein uh like okay now I, i mean yeah like you said it is a little controversial and like let me put this out there that i absolutely respect them okay i respect them i value them i see them like you know i recognize them but i may not really be a fan of kpop in certain like extremely sorry but it just does not fit my taste of music and like what they do is absolutely marvelous but it just does not fit my kind of taste of music like it's not something i could jam to it is something i would listen but not really find or feel myself in it so I don't think I am a fan of you know the K-pop bands and the different ones that, however, certainly like come out right, like you know uh, the recent one that have come out. When I uh, say ki Korean influence on the world, what comes to your mind? Uh, comes to my mind. I think the first thing that comes up to my mind is the way they dress, their dressing sense, and you know the the jawline and the skinny waist. and uh, the uh, korean accent itself and the particular dishes that i see people um, indulge in nowadays that they did not really indulge in before and that they started indulging in right after the korean band came out was uh, you know the particular dishes that are korean the the language that you know people may not really get what they are saying but they do seem to enjoy it and i respect that you know of theirs but i don't think i see that happening to me So yeah, what's like uh, the good and the bad in Korean influencing that's happening around the world? You feel, and also as like a disclaimer type of thing, I like to give out that ye jo ham log views present kare, it's just our views, it's just our sayings. It's not like ki we want to force it or enforce it on you. It's just like we are putting forward our things, and uh, you can definitely pick out any things that you want, but uh, it's not something that we are. Uh, like pushing out some negativity or positivity about it it's just our views ise aap as views lijiye as baatein lijiye don't take it as some statements or some official like writing me we are giving it okay yeah, you can continue so um the good that people are um, you know grasping on from this new uh, band that has come out you know like the kpop thing is that people are getting open minded you know their views are getting better you know they are getting a little modernized a little westernized as well and i think that is something good like it's it's not really necessary for you know one to stay in the shell and i think that they are coming out of their shell and they are exploring they are accepting certain things so that i think is a good and like you know they're getting aware of the different kind of cultures that are around the different kind of you know uh, ways in the world and that's something good but however the bad side of it i think is you know like people take them as role models they're not bad but when they try to be like them like uh, you know the korean artists from like black pink like not trying to be specific but just the female ones like the waist the waistline is like so um, thin and like there'll be people who will starve themselves and do these hardcore exercises why just to get into th- those kind of waist so that they can dress like them and look like them like it's good do want to do that you know you're getting a little healthier but do not push yourself like don't starve yourself honey don't starve yourself just to get a thinner waist like there are ways to do it healthier ways to do it so like just don't go hard on yourself yeah and also like the fact ki uh, people just are not accepting individuality now i feel ki kahin na kahin we are getting too much influenced about things and it may be just my thing but i prefer ki i become what i want to become myself and i take elements out of things i'm not talking ki mai ekdam like aise zone out ho jao or sirf like mera hi like i become a egoistic person i become like a solitary person but i want to just say ki you need to accept individuality and whatever you are rather than becoming what they are you just become what you are and just develop on yourself take out elements from uh, whatever place that you want to take out elements from like i can take the good from anywhere like it may be a small 
person like a person much more uh, younger to me it can be from a business that is multi billions of dollars it can be from like the smallest of source or the biggest of things like i'm trying to make a point yeah very very true honestly you know when we get influenced um i mean yeah it's good that we are getting influenced but the thing about it is it may or the way we look at it it is you know narrowing a mindset like the way we think like you know we think that oh this is all i have to do but actually it is not like you know oh my god you know i need to be able to sing well and i need to be having that skinny waist that particular height and this and that and i have to become like them no you know like you are just putting aside your dreams and like your capabilities to do or to be something that someone already is I mean, yeah, and also like setting standards. standards yeah. Uh, like uh, I, I don't want to bash out, but uh, just in a polite way, if I have to put it, that uh, people who follow Korean trends or any trends for that matter, we set standards according to the trend that we follow, rather just follow standards or make standards or like just be yourself in way and make standards according to what you want, you need, rather than like. भाई ये ट्रेंड है तो मैं उसके अकॉर्डिंग ही मेरी जिंदगी जीऊंगा लाइक वेरी ट्रू बिकॉज लाइक आई सेड लाइक ऑल दीज थिंग्स दैट दे आर इन्फ्लुएंसिंग अस विद इज जस्ट लिमिटिंग आवर माइंड सेट्स एंड आवर क्रिएटिविटी टू व्हाट ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्ट या एंड इट्स डिफीटिंग द पर्पस ऑफ लाइक एक्चुअली जो उनको करना था एग्जैक्टली लाइक मेकिंग अस ओपन माइंडेड मेकिंग अस लाइक मेक अस हैव अ ब्रॉडर पर्सपेक्टिव ऑफ थिंग्स हां या It's True. narrowing. It's like it's uh, narrowing subjects down to just a few, rather than <laughs> having multiple things. Very true. Do you feel that, like, uh, like Korea ka influence or I feel like Japanese influence is happening around the world, or like, 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 to a very broad perspective let it be fashion let it be music let it be normal general conversations let it be like genuine relationships that you have not just romantic ones but like jo day to day relationships that you have it may be like with a auto wala bhaiya it may be with like a person you meet random on like traveling it may be with your parents it may be with your siblings like what do you feel can india also build like something similar or something influential as like what the global countries or regions are doing specifically uh so according to me i think india is already doing it and has succeeded in influencing other countries because i i do see a lot of other country people you know like to follow our way of dressing you know the the men you know wearing kurtas and the women wearing sarees and they may not really like uh, you know they are like obviously they are from abroad and so i think obviously they got influenced from us by us and so i think india has reached that point where it also is uh, like influencing other nations and countries and uh, on the part of relation i mean honestly speaking i'm not trying to be biased or something but we indians do have a lot of respect to give and i and i value that compared to you know uh, abroad where the relation that we do have with our parents is not something that they have like you know uh, i don't know if you saw this uh, interview with oprah and um, one more i forgot her name uh she was an indian actress you know and uh, she made a priyanka statement. chopra ha ah, no are you sure priyanka yeah maybe that's priyanka chopra only think so i'm not sure but yeah could be or aishwarya rai ah there you go aishwarya rai Yeah, and yeah. you know she made this statement saying that you know we do not have to take a uh, like um, uh, what do you call those appointments to meet with our family which is very true so i think that is something the world should really pick up from india of how we pay respect to our elders till date irrespective of who we are how old we are and i think that is something you know people really should pick up pick up from us what's like the global image of our country or like the people the citizens in like globally what's our image i mean this is a little controversial no um now this it could be way to answer ways like some may see us as you know 
like um some messias as poor people who you know do not have class and this and that the typical stereotype of you know the yeah like india uh, being a snake charmers country exactly like that but i think like nowadays that people are really seeing us i think they are do they do get the view that we also are like one of them we also are not sitting back and we are moving on with time and we are also evolving and i think that other nations also see it but however i don't think they do admit it on a daily basis but if asked i think they would admit so yeah with like content with like technologies with like just indian citizens going abroad staying there spreading out words and like jo bhi uh, technology ki wajah se we are getting assistance ki we can show forward we can put forward our views and narratives it's much easier uh, for like the people to grasp whatever we really want to show and what we really want to just like hint out between the lines you know yeah i think they do get the message okay and like i think they are the the reaction that they are having to the message i think is getting better day by day they are accepting it uh however this may not always be the case you know because i mean obviously we are well aware of how it normally is but i think things are changing for the better like it's like we we are challenging on a daily perspective to the people uh, in authority ki like actually please just change the view of india kyunki in actuality in uh, real time we are changing as a society and i feel yeah. it's very very positive ki uh, the narrative around india and the overall uh, jo matlab aise assumptions hai about the country it's changing very drastically and it's actually very very like like nice just seeing an uh, appreciation uh, that is pouring in from abroad and it's not like ki uh, the country or the people that live here they just want or they are hungry for appreciation it's just that we acknowledge it we respect it and it's very good that you are taking out positive elements from us very true you know very truly said and i think they, these are the topics that you know they need to focus on rather than you know just focusing on the same old ways of you know india is a place for snake charmers and uh, you know india is not a very rich country or something like something of that sort that people always you know the stereotype thing that they say i think um, they need to focus on changing that i mean obviously actions speak lou- louder than words you know like we do not have to like put banners up to show them i think they can see already on their own and i think it's just a matter of time before they start accepting it coming to a much more like personal level and like uh, for you mrs devecha uh, this may be like the final questions that i have it's like two questions first one is like how a person's self esteem plays an important role in his or her life and like what's the importance of appreciation for a person okay, so according to me your self esteem really builds you like you have got to put that that uh, you know that particular faith in yourself the same way we we think you know like no no that's my best friend you know i know she's not going to betray me or some shit like that the same way we need to put that in us that you know what i can do it like yes i doubt myself but that doubt shouldn't be especially when it is for yourself you have got to know that you know you have to have that mindset that i can conquer everything now obviously you have to it's very uh, tedious like you have to maintain it and not become egoistic but for your own betterment and for exposure purposes you need to know that you know uh, you can do anything as long as you know you build in yourself and you know like you are working on your self esteem and the second question as to appreciation I generally and honestly had an issue with it like I used to really rely on appreciation from others you know for myself because and honestly it is not just me when I have noticed that it is for every single individual everybody loves to be appreciated whether they accept it or whether they uh, they say it out loud or no it is a very fact that everyone wants to be appreciated and honestly in order to bring the best out of somebody you have got to appreciate them and what they do so that they can better themselves which is why i uh, you know if you know like obviously you know me very well and you'll see i will always be around 
appreciating people like honestly obviously i you know appreciate the facts like not just for the heck of appreciating appreciating but i think that people like do not really understand how important appreciating somebody is and i just wish that you know they would realize and appreciate others on a daily basis what you give out to the world will come back to you like just remember that much <laughs> exactly what you pour in the plant that will grow out to become the fruit that you consume exactly it's just that we need to like have a open mind open eyes and open ears to just uh, understand and like just uh, like it's a very cliche way to say but like whatever that we hear and whatever that we listen whatever that we speak out it's very much like uh, motivated by the facts that we hear and like well, it's it's like a cycle of things yeah very true like i wouldn't be able to say what i said about appreciation until i had realized of how appreciation brings out the best in me and how i work harder when i am appreciated and i work better when i am appreciated so i like to uh, like this conversation is a uh, much more of like a free flow conversation it's much more like we can extend it till like however long that we want but mm-hmm. for just like the sake of uh, publishing it and uh, engaging the viewers in another part that we'll surely make i'll mm-hmm. like to uh, end this conversation here this specific episode and uh, like we have a very positive note that we like to end it with um i think something i would like to present or like a note i would like to give is just to believe in yourself and when you see an opportunity grab it do not overthink it that's it also like how was your experience coming on this podcast just like speaking out whatever that you spoke out with such like confidence and with such exceptional words how was it i think i had a lovely experience and i would uh, definitely do it again if gotten a chance and i thank you and, appre- and appreciate you know the time you spent um, talking and uh, yeah it was a very lovely experience it was worth my time so that's a good note that we like to end just believe in yourself and whatever that we said in this podcast it's just our statements it's uh, just our views on things it may not be right or wrong and you can definitely connect with us personally and you can just tell us when where we went wrong or where we went correct uh, and you can definitely present your views to in the comment section uh, you have all the liberty to do it and till next time i'll just like to wish everyone a very nice time i'd like to uh, thank miss sara devecha for uh, helping out and reaching out in just accepting the fact ki uh, she can uh, make a podcast with me and, <laughs> and uh, also thanking out all the people that listen to this conversation till this specific point have a nice day have a nice night if you are listening it at night agar raat ko dekh rahe ho bhai aaram se so jao mast ekdam acha mood jayega tumhara agar subah subah sun rahe ho to i wish you a very nice happy day and uh, that's all we got for this conversation till next time thank you thank you bye